Hello everyone, we just wanted to change it up today. We're not going a far distance from home, from Charlotte. We're actually probably about 10 minutes from where we live in South Charlotte in the small town of Pineville, North Carolina. So I wanted to take you around here and kind of show you Pineville. It's a quaint little town and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, it's not a far drive. I go through here quite a bit. So let's go. you see the old Pineville Rug Gallery. That was established in 1986. I think they're still there, I'm not quite sure, but here you see kind of directions to different locations in Pineville, like the park there, the Hunt Meeting Facility, Lake Park, uh, Bella Johnston Community Center, and Jack D. Hughes Park. So there are a lot of parks around here, and this is downtown Pineville here. And there's a lot of cool development going on. We'll take a walk down that way too so yeah let's walk on down here in Pineville so again you see a lot of the old time construction you know 1930s 1920s yep Pineville cleaning and repair rugs is right here they do a lot of the real expensive rugs like the Turkish rugs but then down here is the Pineville rug gallery as well so their main entrance is right here so you've got your uh, rug store here and then you've got your repair store there we'll walk down here here's the restaurant and bar see who this is it looks really nice and here's the menu here it's called it's like it says global restaurant there's your menu right there their hours are right here phone number and their website right there yeah this is really nice i like how they paint it black they got this real cool awning over the front door um and there's a uh, Another restaurant looks like right next door. And here is Margot's here. So wine uh, restaurant looks like. Really nice and fancy. Wine, pizza, market. And they're closed, of course. We're here early, so I just want to kind of give you the walk around. Yes, yeah, Margot's. I like the marquee up there. And again, I like how they painted it black. It's pretty cool. And Christie's on Main. Antique Mall. We'll have to go in there when they're open. I just wanted to kind of give you a walkthrough of downtown Pineville. So it looks like a pretty cool store. What kind of glassware? The Brass Bird. Looks like it's in construction right now. I like that they're renovating this. And again, the cool, there's the old marquee area slot right there where you had the old store name would be right in that area. I'm trying to make it out there. You can kind of make out the letters right in there. Love the brickwork. Walk down here. It's a workshop here. Do it yourself uh, classes and decor. AR workshop right there. All kinds of cool stuff you can also get, gifts, things like that. So it's a boutique also. There's the inside. And there's the information right there. And again, I'll have all the information as far as what's downtown here. Slicers barbershop right here. They're open. Taking in customers already nice barbershop and here's we craft lab uh, do-it-yourself supplies we got classes and events oh that's pretty cool so yeah a lot of do-it-yourself shops right here in this this little spot that's pretty neat and here is kits trackside crafts right here we got a tap room bottle shop up oh, the clothes on Sundays They've been here since 2016, so you get all kinds of cool craft beers. Oh, I like this. Nice, nice. And it, the sun is bright. It's cold this morning. It's been around here. I'm gonna walk over there too. They sometimes will have a like a fresh market thing here too, like a farmer's market. They don't have it today. They're probably gonna wait till it gets warmer weather, I think, you know, when that starts up, summertime. And then walk over here. And of course it is track side. I mean, it's literally right on the tracks here. Oh, and they got a cool little uh, 
painting here on the side of the wall with a cool tree. One kind word, one kind word can change someone else's day. Inspire, uh, worthy, grow, unique, brave. And I love this tree over here with a little swing on it. Empathy and love. Looks like a happy tree. You got the uh, little ladybug there and the mushrooms all around the tree. Maybe that's why he's a happy tree. He's got his mushrooms. And here's the back over here. Walk over here and uh, <clears throat> show you the tracks. There you go. There's the train tracks. All through North Carolina, you are going to find towns like this because they were <laughs> their mainstay was railroad. <clears throat> I don't see any depot. They, they probably had one at one time here at one time. I walked down there. Now, if you see way up there, let me kind of zoom in on that. That silo right there, that was Cone Industries. And I actually went to school with one of the sons of the, uh, of the Cone family years ago, back in the early 80s. Um, but yeah, they're not there anymore. I'm not sure what happened, I th but they were textiles stuff like that cone industries but that's where they were way down there now this here is their new town center that they're building uh for pineville this is all new uh, i love that they kept that tree right there that tree's huge um but yeah it's gonna be really nice when they finish this up and right here is the new the police department really nice i like kind of that modern look but they're also using the brick which is great. That's a southern thing. It's that red brick. You will find that everywhere in the south. Beautiful red brick. If you notice here at this bus stop, number 42, it says Carowinds. So you can catch the bus here, take it to the a theme park, to Carowinds, right here, outside of Pineville. And these are really nice. This is all new here. They've just built these, and there's neighborhoods back here that are brand new. And, uh, Pineville is a growing town and they've torn down a lot of the old stuff. It has some rickety homes right in this area here. They're all dilapidated and this is called Traditions right here. But they're building these really, really nice townhomes through here. And these are brick also. It's painted brick. So you get the timber entryway. I love the timber there. Really pops out. You get the nice uh, shutters on the windows. These are really nice. Now here's a good example. See, they used to have some land here that they've uh, torn down the old home and they're about to build some new stuff right here. Yeah, this can be nice. They're, they're, they're redoing along, this is Highway 51, by the way. So yeah, it's kind of busy through here. Not crazy, crazy busy, but um, yeah, speed limits 35 through town. Uh, I would suggest if you're going through Pineville, you make, stir make sure you're staying at 35 because they will get you. Now, the one thing I have noticed, they put in these really nice reproduction, looks like gas lamps, but uh, electric lamps. The one thing I did notice too, there are no wires, no power cables. So as they've developed this area, they've put all the cables in the ground to uh, not obstruct the view. So that's pretty cool. And I'll, again, I love the uh the new town center and here is town hall town of pineville right here in this uh little brick building look at the wind it's blowing like crazy again but yeah here's town hall right here and check this out gordon's groceries the old Pepsi sign there. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So I'm wondering, I'm guessing this is the surveyor's office now. So maybe, was that the grocery store at one time? Who knows? Could have been like a house and grocery store. Now, if you look carefully, I'm trying to keep it kind of zoomed up way on that, the water tower. You see Cone on there, Cone Industries. That's their old symbol starting to fade out. But yeah, that's exactly where they were. I'm going to see if I can drive and get back there. I'm going to see if I can drive down there and see, see what's left, the old factory. That's pretty cool right there, that old silo with the old brick chimney there. 
this old building right next to it. I'm not quite sure. That might be new. I don't know if it's old or not. I have to, like I said, I'm going to drive over there and check it out. And then all through Pineville, they are doing a lot of new development here. These are really nice townhomes right here. It's walking distance from downtown Pineville. And another piece of cool history about Pineville, this is the birthplace of our 11th president of the United States, James K. Polk. So we'll be sure I'll show you his homestead before the end of the video. So this is Dick's bicycle repair shop. I guess he does sell used bikes too. That's a really nice mountain bike right there in the window. Yeah, that is so cool. Looks like a nice hometown bike shop right through here. And here's the uh, little unicycle right there in the, in the window. But yeah, here he is here. Here's his phone number right there. Um, Oh yeah, here's the main entrance here to Dick's Bicycle Repair Shop. Really nice. And not open just yet. And there's their website if you're interested in checking it out. So right next to the bike shop, coming soon, Carolina Scoops Ice Cream. There it is, spring 2022. So yeah, this is going to be a nice little location for them. So of course, you got to have your tea and coffee shop unwind is the name of this one in downtown Pineville. Here it is here in this old building here. Really nice. I may need to grab me a cup of coffee here at Unwind. So I'm sure they open early. And right next door is Z Home Furnishings right here. Looks like they specialize in really cool furniture. Check that chair out. That's pretty neat. I like that. Yeah, Z Home Furnishings, right next door to the coffee shop. And we'll head down here. Here's another craft beer place, Pintville. <laughs> I like that. So Pintville is in Pineville. So that was established in 2015. Too early for a beer right now, or is it? No, but um, <laughs> get your plumbing company here. You gotta have your plumbers in town for sure. Oh, I just love these storefronts. These are awesome. Love the lamps out front. This one here is long and long CPA. So yeah, you're gonna have your lawyers downtown. They have a few offices uh, down here, lawyer offices. <clears throat> and there's your spa right there. Studio 321, but you're on 51. But <laughs> anyway, there's a tailored, here's another salon here. So maybe it's all together, but that's a tailored salon. And then up here, you got your pet stuff right here. Perfect Paradise Cat Hotel It's upstairs. So if you go out of town and you want to leave your kitty, it's right there. There it is. Perfect Paradise right there. So they can have a cool view of downtown. There's Margo's there across the street. Global restaurant and bar. <clears throat> and like I said, 50 Highway 51 goes right through here. So you'll have a lot of traffic going through town in Pineville. So right here in downtown Pineville is Carolina Tabletop Games. And he opened in 2016. And really cool store. They do like miniatures, they do D D, uh, all kinds of role-playing games, they do card games, uh, a lot of miniature tabletop games. And the cool thing about this one, let me pan back a little bit, he uh, actually serves alcohol. So he does really cater to more of adult gamers. So if you're interested in finding out more about them, I'll have them in the description. But yeah, Carolina Tabletop Games. Now we're on the backside of that building. So <laughs> like I said, your kitty, when they're staying here, can have a really cool uh, window uh, to look out and see downtown Pineville. And right below it is Style Box Fashion and Styling Studio, right here. Then we got Holt School of Fine Arts, right here. Walk down a little bit more. There is a Soul Space Petite Spa, right here. Because they're kind of uh, squished in here with these different stores right behind the main street. And there's another barber shop. So yeah, there's plenty of boutiques and barber shops in uh, downtown Pineville. And this is Chadwick Park. 
again, a lot of nice development going on with these townhomes, apartments, and condos through here. And there's a park down this way. We'll check out some of the parks too, so you can see that. But yeah, it's really nice. So this is a really, really cool house right here. But it also, it's called Fresh Start at Home, Pineville. They curate antiques and estates, furniture, vintage jewelry, original art, and home decor. But yeah, cool place here to check out. So check out this cool house. It's invisible. You don't get, you don't see many of those in, in small towns. So right here off of Main Street, also known as Highway 51, is 219 Main Outback Shops, Fresh Flowers, the Tuxedo Shop, and Cupcake Delirium. Located back here behind this huge white house. And check out the flamingos. <laughs> and the little bird houses here. Oh, he's tumbled over. He fell over. He's not doing too good. Looks like he lost a foot. Right there, that guy. But over here, this is called the Flower Diva. Right here, really cool shop. Love the green. It really pops out. And don't forget, this is kind of off of Main Street, too. And then kind of tucked away, this pink shop here. That's your bakery, right here. Yeah, your cupcake shop is right here. Kind of tucked way back in the back. But yeah, if you're into cupcakes, be sure to stop by here and get your uh, freshly made cupcake dessert. And here is your tuxedo shop right here. Looks like they're setting up, get ready to open for today. The they open at 10, like most of these stores do. Of course, your coffee shop opens a lot earlier. Like I said, I might have to go back to that coffee shop before I leave here. And check this out. This is Lake Park in Pineville. They actually have an event going on. And they have this beautiful lake here. Really nice fountain. And I think it's the dog adoption event going on. We'll walk over there and check it out. So, yeah, beautiful. And I wanted to show you this magnificent dog park nestled here in the woods here in Pineville. We're gonna run around, have a good time. They've got all kinds of little courses they can run, tunnels to run through. Look, looks like the dogs are having a great time. <laughs> Check them out. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this park. I love that it's in these woods here too. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a, some sort of BMX thing, but uh, I look down here. <laughs> See the ramp over there, right down there. Yeah, it's for the dogs. They run through the tunnels and launch over the ramp there have a good old time so they have picnic tables set up too so you can watch your dogs play but yeah this is a really really nice park and this is part of the restoration of little sugar creek so they'll have all kinds of cool nature trails bike trails all through here yeah so i'm still walking along the dog park here look at all the pine trees all through here just a great place for your dog to run around. Make new friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. It's a, it's a big dog park. Got the turtles there. Sneaking up. <laughs> There's probably tons of turtles in this lake too. During the summer months, you'll see a bunch of them here. And sometimes they'll sit on the rocks too and sunbathe. A little duck right over there enjoying his swim and they got this little water park area here for the kids it squirts water and stuff of course it's not on right now but i'm sure in the hot summer months this will be going strong we've also got uh these huge so they put umbrellas over them and uh keep the kids uh cool from the hot sun but yeah a little uh water park thing here a little squirt park so they do allow fishing here but here are the rules here for fishing here at this lake but yeah this is really nice i love the fountain there and we'll check out some of the dogs too and of course you know connie and i we have six of our own we also foster we've been fostering dogs for the last eight years so but i think this one is put on by the humane society we are with a group called positive impact and if you're interested about what we do, I'll leave that in the description as well. 
for uh, adopting or even if you're interested in fostering dogs. You know, it's a great Dane. Yeah, he's still a pup. He's growing. Sitting the little fence here. The dogs run around in. Some of the, some of the pups. Look at him over there. He's a big boy. Get a shot of him. Oh, yeah. He's beautiful. Look at him. <laughs> he's huge. Oh, this is cool. Stella Circus. It's like a dog circus. That is really cool. Doing all kinds of tricks and stuff, getting it set up. Don't know if I'll be around that long to see it. Yeah, they're still setting up. But this is so cool that they're doing this for all the babies, all fur babies. Looking for a home, helping out all the different organizations that rescue the pets. They're not really, to me, they're not pets. They're a family member, you know? They're my kids. I take care of our babies just like I would take care of a regular human kid. Yeah, they go to the doctors, they get their couple meals a day, they are well fed, well sheltered. They go get their shots and all that good stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, we take care of our babies for sure. But this is awesome that they're doing this. They do it uh, uh, once a year, I think. And, uh, it's getting bigger uh, the last time since I was here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at them. Little bass. Bass and hound. They're such awesome dogs. You know how cute he is. <laughs> I love bass and hounds. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's cool that's going on today while we're visiting Pineville. Adopt. Don't shop. Perfect. And that is awesome great park to come to but also an awesome event to come to so if you're ever here for this event or when it's in town or if you're visiting be sure to stop by this event help the dogs out find a new home and just to support all the rescues that are out there helping these fur babies and this is the president james k polk birthplace visitor center museum right here we are at the birthplace of our 11th president of the United States, James K. Polk. I'll show you the sign here. It's, um, president James K. Polk's uh, SHS Little Sugar Creek Greenway. Get the bike pass all through here too, which is great. They've been doing this for a while and uh, improving this area as far as uh, accessibility, especially for the bike paths and greenway. It's a beautiful uh, area to take your bike through or walk through. It's really, really nice. And here's the inside of the museum right there we'll try to go in there and check that out but i want to show you the grounds of where he lived the farm so here is the monument that was dedicated to the james k polk state historic site and it looks like the mecklenburg chapter of the daughters of the american revolution sponsored this and this monument went up and it looks like the monument after 1904 right here so you can read all this history as well Four years, the monument stood as the only indication of Polk's time in Mecklenburg County, originally uh, located where the main house is today. It was moved to make way for the building. The site opened in 1968, and, and uh, President Lyndon B. Johnson's wife, Lady Bird, dedicated it. So here's the monument here. Here stood the house in which was born on November 2nd, 1795, James Knox Polk president of the united states from 1845 to 1849 and this was erected it looks like it says 19 yeah it's 1904 so yeah very nice with all the granite in there with the concrete holding it together nice permanent structure so let's go up to the homestead 
So yeah, when we were kids, we would come here a lot for our outings, things like that, for uh, educational purposes, of course. And uh, it was great to get out of school, come over here to the homestead of James K. Polk, walk around, and uh, yeah, let's go see this cool house here uh, of James K. Polk's. So I'll have a, a link to a lot of his history. He was probably one of the most underrated presidents that we ever had. He did a lot for the country. Love the, the timber, and you got the, looks like the good old clay to insulate the house in between the logs. And when that hardens, it hardens. It's almost like concrete. You see where they pushed it in, you see the finger, the finger marks where they had pushed in the clay. Yeah. And we'll go over here. On a barn right there. And they have nice lights around it too to accentuate the cabins at nighttime. Here's another angle of the homestead here. Only had the two front windows on it. Got that huge fireplace too to keep that place warm. Now, remember, <laughs> they weren't necessarily, everybody, like, you go in these cabins, the ceiling's so short. Well, the ceiling's short because it helps retain heat better during the winter. That's why. It's less space to worry about as far as heating the cabins up. You got the uh, shingled roof up there. Well, the wood shingle roof on both of them. Yeah, see right there. You know, it looks like they have a garden here that they're working on right now. Yep, that's a little garden there. And you've got to look carefully too. There'll be plaques around kind of showing what the, what they would grow out here. What maybe the livestock they would have out here at one time. But yeah, this is all farmland. I remember even when I first moved here, they uh, had a lot of farms out here. Now it's either, either, either residential or malls, shopping, stuff like that. So make sure you check out these plaques right here kind of showing you what what's going on here on the farm you can pause that and read that if you'd like and we'll go over here and check this out over here another one kind of shows you what it used to look like right here there you go tobacco in the piedmont so they grew a lot of tobacco out here too and that's kind of like it would look like out here but yeah i think there there was tobacco growing out here when i first moved here in the 70s and uh, I'll walk over here. Sometimes they'll have like cool nature trails walking through here. There's neighborhoods close by too. So yeah, I mean, if you look over here, that's part of the greenway. Some of it's cut off, but uh, yeah, you see the trail right down there. And they're like way over there is like townhouses and stuff like that. But this is all protected, of course. This is a historic location, so there'll be no building here. And. Uh, some more good stuff to read here. So that it looks like the sugary Indians inhabited this area in 1650. That's what became the namesake is the sugary Indians. Little Sugar Creek and Sugar Creek goes through Charlotte. So there you go. That's why it's called Sugar Creek because of the sugary Indians. And uh, it's also right next door not too far away was part of the Cherokee Nation too. You want to pause it, you can read that all about them. So yeah, I was gonna say the Cherokee Indians were close by as well. And here's another plaque here. Unfortunately, my shadow is over that. I'm trying to step to the side, but if you can read that, pause that, kind of give you an idea of the farm early life of the farm what they did here and also the reconstruction of the farm today right down at the bottom so we're going to walk around into the museum here you go right here james k polk president of the united states 1845 to 1849 that's a cool desk right there but we're going to walk around here so you can see the exhibit and there's artifacts from here too uh, things that he had owned and they also See right here? Photography is encouraged. So they really want to promote this place and hopefully you'll come and visit when you're here. Check that out there. So if you read the history about President Polk and his 
actions, you know, with the war with Mexico, things like that. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Everything that had happened during that period. Check these out here. These pauldrons and the cool musket. Got a couple muskets there. And here is a frock coat and hat. And that was worn by William H. Polk. And there you go right here. I love that they were able to rescue these, restore them. Pan back a little bit so we can see more. Oops, not forward. Back, Todd. There you go. Um, this is a really nice, it's small, but jam-packed with artifacts and information about President Polk. I'm a big his history buff. I love this stuff. So if you're in town in Pineville or in Charlotte, Put it down as a things to do here. There are events coming up soon. And again, I'll have all that in the description. Oh, you got this cool little push button. Learn a little bit of history of each of these individuals. Oh, they got a ground Poe. Right there. <laughs> a couple of authors and well-known people. Charles Dickens. Wow. And there's all the names down there. Look at the top hat there. Beaver fur top hat worn by Samuel F. Patterson from Salem, North Carolina. It was made by Henry Milton. Hatter to the Queen. London, England from 1850 to 1870. So that's around the Victorian period. So very nice. New crystal there too. The plates up there. And they have all kinds of... Uh, uh, oh, look at this clock. James K. Polk right there. <laughs> and you got this cotton saw gin right here. Kind of shows you how it works, where it separates it up. Get your cotton going. Get all these iron skillets, ironware and clayware right here. Got the old walnut, a cradle right there. And there's your spinning and weaving your loom right there yeah so take your time through the museum and read all these different uh, placards about what you're seeing let's pan over here here's some history of the other polk family there's our uh, crest right there the polk crest and there's james k polk's mom right there there's thomas polk that's his uncle lieutenant colonel william h polk Polk served under General Thomas Sumner in South Carolina state troops during the American Revolution. But yeah, I do encourage you guys to stop by here and check this wonderful museum out. And Pineville has this huge mall. So you do have modern day shopping. And it's not too far from the center of Pineville where we just were. And uh, yeah, this is Carolina Place Mall just right off of Highway 51. So yeah, they've got all kinds of shopping here. I also wanted to stop by, in my opinion, the best German restaurant in the area. Right here in Pineville, the Waldhorn Restaurant. The family that owns it is from Germany. And every time we come here, we have a wonderful meal. I do highly, highly recommend coming here to the Waldhorn, trying out their food, lunch and dinner. They also, I believe they have a buffet on Sundays but yeah Waldhorn is incredible so they're not open just yet it's a little bit before lunch but it looks really cool inside I do recommend it and I will have all their information in the description so I wanted to thank you for joining me here in Pineville North Carolina cool history behind it too with uh, President Polk being from here and also when you go to the James K Polk Museum, ask for Kyle, really nice guy. And uh, yeah, he'll, if you have any inf any questions, he'll be sure to answer that for you there at the museum. And uh, yeah, it's been a great day. The weather is wonderful. Carolina blue skies. Man, you can't ask anything better than this. It's gonna be around 70 degrees. Humidity is actually not too bad. It's kind of low. Feels really good outside. All right, guys, you take care. We have more stuff coming up really soon. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.